Item number, SCP-709, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-709 is currently set up in TAF-2, Sector 28. Any staff member is permitted to access the sphere, provided they schedule the time in advance, so as to avoid conflict. Class D personnel wishing to use the sphere require permission from their direct supervisor. Description: SCP-709 is a spherical treehouse, assembled from a kit provided by the company of Vancouver Island. It has been furnished as a small apartment suitable for overnighting. When a person looks out the window for a period of more than three to five minutes, they will begin to see what appear to be alternative versions of the forest and its inhabitants such as a four-winged bird, or a range of bipedal cougars walking down a trail. These visions are not consistent between viewing sessions, or between observers during a single session. They can be recorded with conventional video or film equipment, but the equipment will not record the same sights as living observers. Neither will different cameras record the same images, even during simultaneous recording sessions. Addendum. SCP-709 first came to Foundation attention when its owner began to complain to his psychiatrist of hallucinations connected to the treehouse. One of our contacts, the psychiatrist, informed us of this anomalous case. After a covert visit to the treehouse on Agent Talmor reported that the sphere was, in fact, an SCP candidate. On her recommendation, the psychiatrist encouraged her patient to replace the sphere. Posing as a local rubbish removal company, a team of agents collected the original sphere and installed it in TAF-2. The original owner no longer complains of hallucinations and ascribes his visions to simple imagination. Addendum 2. Personnel who have made use of SCP-709 are encouraged to record their observations in Observation Log 709 below. Observation Log 709 Record of observations made from SCP-709. Please include your name, the date and initial time of observation, and the length of time spent observing. Name, Agent Talmor. Date, 04-01-2009. Time, 2315 approximately. Duration, 20 minutes approximately. Observed, a family of raccoons playing in the snow wearing mittens and boots. They made and threw snowballs, built a snow raccoon, and otherwise engaged in normal winter play. Name, Agent Thompson. Date, 06-01-2009. Time, 1930. Duration, 23 minutes. Observed, several species of wildlife, including bears, Deer, wolves, birds, sheep, raccoons, and squirrels, all of which were bipedal, engaged in warfare, using current-day automatic weapons and several futuristic laser cannons. Name, Dr. Date, 0108. Time, 12 o'clock. Duration, 30 minutes. Observed. 1. Large tree-like being which moved a total of four feet during observation, appeared to wave branches several times, and data expunged. 2. A large viper-like lizard with gliding wings that appear to be part of the ribcage. 3. A small family of grizzly bears, which appear to have tongues similar to those of the chameleon as well as a second set of limbs midway down the ribcage. 4. Data expunged. Aware of observation. Level of awareness appears to be minimal, and the subject's physical dimensions limit any possibility of interaction. Name. Agent Carrion Trooper. Date. 10.07.2009. Time. 9.10, approximately. Duration. 50 minutes approximately. Observed. 
Velociraptors hunting a Parasaurolophus. They used obsidian knives to butcher the meat, and carried bag-like containers where they put the rest of the meat. They left the scene after butchering the Parasaurolophus. Shortly after they left, small unidentified dinosaurs scurried to the carcass and ate bits of it. Name, Agent Hunter and a video camera. Date, 05-17-2009. Time, 1710 approximately. Duration, circa 45 minutes. Observed, Agent. At first, a child was seen flying about on a rocking horse, chased by what appeared to be a small friendly flock of bird. The birds did not match any native species. After they had flown, several trees were seen to fall, despite not hearing a sound that could explain their fall. Finally, a herd of miniature elephants the size of ponies walked past. Camera. The camera did not record anything. To be more precise, what it recorded appears to have been a single still image. It includes at least two birds in mid-flight, accompanied with the normal sounds of a forest. Name. Dr. Light. Date. 08 10 2009. Time. 8.30. Duration. 60 minutes approximately. Observed. A single organism of variable size and shape, which emerged from a nearby body of water and proceeded, over the following hour, to recreate the stages of human evolution. It began as an early amphibian and slowly began to grow legs, arms, fur, teeth, becoming bipedal and using sticks as tools. Once the organism reached the current stage of human development, it continued developing for approximately five minutes, gaining longer fingers and toes and larger eyes, while diminishing in stature, until it was abruptly consumed by what appeared to be a, quote, very fast, very large SCP-682. End quote. Dr. Light notes that while slightly disturbing, the process was, quote, scientifically fascinating, and I wish I could have recorded it. End quote. Name Dr. Garcia. Date 11 11 2010. Time 1445. Duration 25 minutes approximately. Observed. Environment appears to be flooded to a depth greatly exceeding the altitude of the observation position with a fluid inferred to consist of liquid methane based on neither the surface nor the bottom of the sea could be observed and lighting conditions were very poor. A group of manta ray-like bioluminescent organisms, each exceeding 40 meters in body length, swam past the observation point at one point. Name: Agent Poe. Date: 03-20-2012. Time: 1740. Duration: 15 minutes approximately. Observed: a huge and oddly distorted human face that emerged from just above the viewpoint. It stared directly at the agent for several minutes before data expunged. A number of human-like creatures were seen to form out of the remains, all of which seemed to be aware of their observer. Name: Dr. Chesnikov. Date: 05-15-2012. Time: 12-12. Duration: 38 minutes approximately. Observed: A single male pan troglodytes, common chimpanzee, appeared from the southwest into the view of the observation point, carrying the following: brand smoothie cup in left hand, with a violet liquid visible through transparent straw. Nondescript smartphone in its mouth. Novel entitled under its right arm. Chimpanzee made its way to a tree and proceeded to climb upward until it reached a branch eye level with observer and approximately 30 meters away, before sitting. For the rest of the event, the chimpanzee stared intently at the pages within the book, occasionally sipping from its smoothie and checking its smartphone. This continued for 37 minutes until it suddenly stood and climbed back down, leaving from where it entered. Name: 
Researcher Charon. Date, 06-05-2012. Time, 11.32. Duration, 23 minutes approximately. Observed, a group of five Suricata Suricata, meerkats, riding an assortment of four-wheeled vehicles, similar to quad runners. All were wearing leather vests, on the backs of which were embroidered a large sun in the middle, with a halo on top, the words Sun Angels surrounding. Coordinating via unintelligible chirrups and barks, they seemed to be searching for something. After about ten minutes, they formed a large circle, dismounted their vehicles, and began moving inward. When the circle was about 25 meters in diameter, something sprang from the underbrush at about the center and tried to escape. After turning around and seeing that it was surrounded, it tried to make a last stand. The central figure looked like a wolf hominid. The five clan members closed in and eviscerated the wolf creature using their long claws, claiming victory when one of the clan held the wolf's head aloft. A visibly shaken researcher Charon noted, I'm never going to be able to watch The Lion King after that. Name, Dr. Zara. Date, 04 10 2012. Time, 1117. Duration, 45 minutes approximately. Observed, plant life unchanged. Fauna not visible, except for a single enormous horse, slowly trekking to the west. Atmospheric dimming suggests horse to be at least 20 kilometers away and more than 5 kilometers in height. Name, Researcher Ford. Date, 12-10-2012. Time, 13-13. Duration, 10 minutes approximately. Observed, Researcher Ford looked thoroughly confused upon exiting the treehouse. He then explained that he had seen four men in lumberjack attire gathered around a log. None of the men had any apparent facial features. One carried a trumpet that appeared to be made of brass and was holding it next to where a mouth would be. Another was dribbling a basketball between both his hands. The third carried a birdcage containing a gray bird similar to a pigeon. The last had a jar of peanut butter and a plastic knife that it was using to butter the log. Researcher Ford was oddly concerned with the fact that the peanut butter jar didn't seem to run out even after 10 minutes of spreading it on the log. This was noted as within normal parameters and did not warrant any psychological testing. Name: Dr. Gums. Date: 5-27-2013. Time: 14:35. Duration: 42 minutes approximately. Observed, a swarm of insects resembling Vespa mandarinia, Asian giant hornet, were observed to be feeding on the burnt corpse of an unidentified mammal. After about ten minutes, a live version of the mammal, seemingly on fire and led by what appeared to be a bipedal crocodilus porosus, saltwater crocodile, appeared in view. The bipedal crocodile proceeded to tear off a low-hanging branch of a nearby tree and carve it into a crude approximation of a flute. About 20 minutes in, it played the makeshift flute, causing the hornets to spasm uncontrollably for a period of about five seconds and cease motion. The mammal proceeded to systematically crush and consume the hornets for the duration of the observation. Name, Dr. Miller. Date, 11.05.2014. Time, 1024. Duration, 17 minutes. Observed, a line of approximately 200 aardvarks marched past the observation post two by two. The aardvarks were colored with various bright patterns in a tie-dye fashion. Name, Dr. King. Date, 1-17-2015. Time, 12-15. Duration, Exactly five minutes. Observed. Dr. King came out exactly five minutes after having entered, swearing profusely. Eventually, he calmed down enough to explain what he saw. As soon as the vision began, 
the forest immediately filled up with apple seeds up to just below the treehouse. It was at that point that he decided he was done testing it. Name, Agent Masterson. Date, 5-11-2016. Time, 1625. Duration, eight minutes. Observed, two entities appearing as human females approximately 20 years old, roughly four inches or 10 centimeters tall and possessing iridescent translucent wings on their backs, flew up to the observation window. They appeared to engage in conversation regarding Agent Masterson, with frequent pointing to him and attempts to look through the window. They then flew off. Name, Dr. Smith. Date, 6-23-2017. Time, 9-15. Duration, 69 minutes. Observed, 12 gray kangaroos, Macropus gigantus, entered view, followed by six giant pangolins, Smutsia gigantia, which were carrying rolled up mats. One kangaroo commenced striking the pangolins with a staff, and the pangolins quickly unrolled the mats onto the ground. Two kangaroos went to the head of the area covered, while the others observed. The kangaroos then bowed to each other, and the kangaroos at the front began demonstrating various fighting maneuvers, and then the other kangaroos commenced imitating them. The pangolins remained motionless alongside the mats. After 15 minutes, the first two kangaroos began another series of fighting actions, and again the other ten imitated them repeatedly for 15 minutes. Then, all the kangaroos bowed to each other again and left the mats. One kangaroo again started striking the pangolins with its staff, which then quickly rolled the mats back up, and all 18 entities left the area. Name, Dr. Dreamly. Date, 09-12-2017. Time, 7.35 approximately. Duration, 10 minutes. Observed, all greenery besides grass demanifests and a dirt path form along the ground from the leftmost side of the observation area to the rightmost. The ground magically raised up to match the altitude of the observation area. A parade of bipedal domestic cats, Felis catus, of the American shorthair breed, and domestic dogs, Canis familiaris, wearing attire for a marching band, marched around the viewing area for about seven minutes before the last marching member, a bipedal Flemish giant rabbit carrying a pink flag left the view of the observation area. As the marching entities marched along, small jets of confetti shot up from the ground as the leader crossed certain checkpoints, marked by two flags placed on each side along the winding path. Name: Researcher Philipson. Date: 03-22-2018. Time: 13:45. Duration, 86 minutes. Observed, two armies, one consisting entirely of naked male humanoids with the heads of bald eagles, Haliaetus, Leucocephalus, and the other composed entirely of naked female humanoids with the heads of eastern gray squirrels, Scurius carolinensis. The army of squirrel-headed entities were carrying daggers of unknown make and the eagle-headed beings had approximately 18-centimeter-long talons supplementing their fingers. After about 60 minutes of bloody combat, combat ceases, and the leader of the squirrel-headed army is dragged out and beheaded by the leader of the eagle army. All living combatants exit the area, but the corpses of the dead soldiers remained until viewing was terminated. Name: Dr. Trent Date 11-14-2016 Time 8-30 Duration 6 minutes Observed A 4-meter tall black rat, Rattus Rattus, climbs the closest tree to the viewing area and stared at Dr. Trent for almost 4 minutes. The large rat then proceeded to attempt to jump at Dr. Trent, who immediately fell back and ran off. Notes Holy that scared the ever-living out of me. Damn thing almost gave me a heart attack. Dr. Trent. Name. Agent Peterson. Date. 
2020 Time, 1225. Duration, 74 minutes. Observed. A large hole opens in the ground, causing trees, bushes, and multiple animals to fall into the hole. A large burst of fire bursts out of the hole, immediately vaporizing everything in the area, covering the window. No heat is felt from inside SCP-709. After 10 minutes of silence and smoke rising out of the hole akin to that of a volcanic eruption, an army of demonic figures climb, fly, and jump out of the hole. A behemoth human-goat-minotaur-snake-boar hybrid with large leathery bat wings reaches its clawed hands out of the hole, tearing it open wider. The being's heavily disfigured head and upper torso rise out of the now gargantuan hole as it raises its large, muscly arms, each one of four covered with patches of scales, fur, bone, quills, burning flesh, and muscle tissue into the air as the smaller fiendish beings start chanting and screaming. The being points its arm to the window as a group of winged demons begins rushing towards SCP-709. The demons attacking the window are fairly weak and have no effect on SCP-709. Their little pitchfork-type weapons only make light knocking sounds against the glass. Name: Dr. Norms Date 04-18-2020 Time 147 Duration 15 minutes Observed Entities identical to characters Hampton J. Pig and Plucky Duck from the animated series Tiny Toon Adventures appear. The Hampton entity is in a wheelchair and maneuvers it in wide counterclockwise circles while repeatedly vocalizing the words, the dots, the dots, the dots, at a rapid pace. The plucky entity follows closely behind, without doing anything else of note. They both exit to the left of the viewpoint after performing this action for ten minutes. The Hampton entity does not cease its vocalizations while exiting. Name, Dr. Chang. Date, 09-22-2021 Time, 11-23 Duration, 5 minutes Observed Six entities come into view. They vary somewhat in appearance, but all are small, long-necked, with long ears, large eyes on the side of the head, with one long canine tooth in the middle of the upper jaw. The forelimbs are very long, and narrow, the upper limbs very short. All six entities have long tails. They are covered by short fur and are carrying spears. They explore the surrounding terrain and gather and eat various small food items. They then run off out of viewing. A computer image search of the internet revealed a 0.9962 probability match with a species called a Yinglet. End log. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-708, The Big Orange Forklift, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.